the Western Power Service Territory, which the Uganda Electricity Distribution Company Limited has taken over from the private power vendor known as Kilembe Investments Limited, include six districts of Kasese, Mitoma, Buheju, Ruwirizi, Bushenyi, and Shema. So for that matter, uh, we, are adding of, we, are, we are adding on the number of staff. So far we have recruited 28. We have two programs being implemented by government, the Connections Policy and the Access Police Project that basically connects the one pole service. If you don't have a pole, uh, if you're lacking two poles, government is fully covering that. This follows the Cabinet Resolution in 2022 which stopped the renewal of any power concession of private electricity vendors. Dr. Patricia Letho is from the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development. And you know the perception that government has done nothing. Through the Rural Electrification Agency, government handed over this network. Fully built network by government was given to Kilembe Investment. So it just got a concession. It's like renting someone's house. They give you a fully built house. So once in a while you can renovate a broken window, something like that, but basically the basic infrastructure was built by government and government continued to expand this network. UEDCL commits to expeditiously implement several stalled government projects in this service territory. The expectation is that all applicants that had applied to be connected must be served. And all those areas, the lines that put up, Karusandara, Chitabo, Charumba, everywhere, these lines should be completed. That with our service coming on board, the customers who had applied and paid for their connection, and they are not yet connected, provided they have a pole and a wire near their house, they will be connected even if they had paid the money to claim investments. But if they are not yet paid the inspection fee, they can use, their pay, they can use our payment platforms. Kilembe Investments Limited, on the other hand, wants Uganda Shilling's 3 billion compensation from government, an amount accrued in energy losses and other related obligations during the time of operations. We are talking of only uh, 3 billion, but it could have been more than that, because when you calculated the percentage, we lose on a daily basis, it was 11 point something percent. We've got to go back and sit, the three of us, Minister of Energy, the regulator, transmission, actually the four of us and KIL, and we see what investment was brought on board, how much reeling fee, how much investment government has put back during that period when they run the concession and we offset each other. Something that the regulator normally calculates. So I think those calculations will be updated and we agree on what model we use to reimburse if there's any outstanding. This is the fifth concession to expire and taken over by UEDCL as the sole government power distributor. The takeover of Umeme territories and Renreko in northern Uganda is also in the offing. Denis Igoa and Nasir Uwama for UBC News in Kasese.